This is Armani, a Bengal tiger. He's about 12 years old. He actually has some background in offering conditioning, so he has done in his past a variety of behaviors. Here at Big Cat Rescue, though, we don't all ask him to do many of them, except the ones that help us in medical procedures to demonstrate for guests, too, how he's offering conditioning to evaluate the physical condition. It's Armani, right now. When he does an up, we have the opportunity to look at his undercarriage, but also his paws. He's running bear and little white dove. They're bobcats. And we're going to demonstrate with them a couple things. One, normally when they have training, they're actually in separate stations. Two different people will train them so that there's no aggression between the cats. Um, also, for the cats that are leery of medications, we can put medication in the red meat. And the cats that are used to operant conditioning aren't as worried when we come up with the operant conditioning stick. Whereas if I just came up with a little bit of red meat, they might think something strange is happening. So we can actually put some medication inside the red meat and then do operant conditioning. And while they're thinking about operant conditioning, slide the piece in with the medicine. And before they know it, they've taken their meds. are Siberian lynx. The larger one is Kathmandu. He's a male and he tends to be quite aggressive. Kanawa is the smaller one in front of us now. She's the female. In order to work with them, we actually have to lock them away from each other. And this kind of shows the importance of a lockout. Kathmandu right now is sitting inside his lockout. Um, a few years ago, he wouldn't even go in the lockout and let us close the door down on him. So the first goal of operant conditioning with him was to have him go into the lockout itself comfortably and then allow us to close the lockout door on him. One, we can put him in and lock him out and then look at Kanawa by herself. But if we needed to do cage maintenance, we can lock both of them in lockout and then be able to go into their cage area safely. Lockout. Good boy. So now with him safely locked away, since he's the aggressive one, I can work with Nawa by herself. She's pretty good at up, and unfortunately, she also, when I walk to the side of the cage, will do an up hoping that I have food. The latest thing we're working with her is a down since she's so happy to, as you can see, do an up. She doesn't lay all the way down yet, but at least she's getting her front end down, which is an improvement over a few weeks ago. Up. This is Bengali. He's a Bengal tiger. He's about 12 years old. He's also going to do it up for us to show us the difference in some of the cats and how big it is. Bengali, up. Boy. He was originally trained just to come into his lockout area, which he's already done. And then he will lay down in his lockout facing my direction. Whereas the person who is giving him the treat stays on this side and continues to tell him what a good tiger he is and preoccupy him while I do blood draw from the other side. So we won't actually be able to demonstrate it, but this is how we've done it with him. Bengali, hey, down. Good, down. Good boy. So the person on this end would just continue to positively reinforce him for laying down while I can pull his tail to the side of the cage and then draw blood from it. <laughs> 